Two, the coffees you've had before 9 a.m. 97, the money in your bank until the end of the month. Five, the number of weeks you've been keeping your pregnancy a secret. Our personal data is everywhere, changing our lives for good and bad. How much do you know about your data? Luke and Pia are different. They live different lives, have different ideas. Like it or not, they're being defined by the crumbs of information they leave behind. Each day, they reveal their passions, moods, intentions. When he's reminded about his mom's birthday, when she checks the weather, as he searches for a present, as she reads an article. Their data goes on an amazing journey. It flows through routers across land and sea into servers around the world and back again. But what are the consequences? Luke and Pia don't own their data. None of us do. The more she runs, the more he listens to, the more big business can analyze them and try to control their behavior. Sending Pia an offer they know she'll want based on what she reads and where she's been. Pushing Luke a present they think he'll buy based on what he's searching for. And it's not just them. It's happening to all of us. Maybe we don't choose our personalized journey. Maybe it chooses us. Pia's sharing data while looking for a coffee. So's Luke as he looks for somewhere to kill time. Without them knowing, businesses can use their data to bend the rules. Fingerprinting their browsers, analyzing their voices, using facial recognition to understand their intentions. Or worse. Or worse. The more data they give away, the more risks they face. When Luke and Pia bump into each other and see they've both bought exactly the same plant, they think it's destiny. But in reality, it's the data they've shared that led them to this happy coincidence. But shouldn't they shape their own destiny? Or should we allow others to control our data and influence our lives? Ask yourself, are you in control? Does your privacy matter? <laughs>